Hey everyone, welcome back to Happy Healthy Smiles. So thanks so much for joining me. Please don't forget to hit that a like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. So did you know that a poll was taken in 2015 to ask about flossing and 14% actually said they'd rather clean a toilet than floss their teeth. I'm hoping I'm going to change your mind about that. So 40% of bacteria removal from your mouth is only by using floss daily. So this is a huge amount. Your toothbrush is great, it does about 60%, but to get below the gum line and between the size of the teeth, only floss will do that. Even if you have spaces, a lot of people say, oh, I have a lot of spaces, believe it or not, I still see a lot of tartar buildup. You need to floss, scrape the size of the teeth, go below the gum line, and it removes 40% of the bacteria. Also, there's about over 700 different species of bacteria in your mouth, good and bad, and that balance is very fragile. So anytime uh, the bad bacteria can take over, so this is where the flossing comes really in handy. Now, floss evening is really a good idea because you wanna remove all that plaque, the food debris um, before you go to bed. Overnight, you'll notice that when you wake up in the morning, you have bad breath because all that food, the bacteria has been growing in your mouth. So really good idea. And I'm going to show it to you here. So here between the teeth is where the food and bacteria, you can't see it. It's a film. And underneath the gum line is where you'll get a lot of um, trapped food and the bacteria, especially if you have crown, bridges, or implants. Really, really important to clean around that area. The flossing will prevent gum disease, bleeding gums, and inflammation. And inf removing inflammation is extremely important for your overall health, not just for your mouth. So I hope this helps and get your floss out and start flossing.